Today we're going to talk Sofia Don't Say Falcone Gigante and season two of The Penguin. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. I'm James. Thank you so much. Shout out to all of our new subscribers. And if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I love The Penguin. And I am so glad. Let me know your thoughts on The Penguin down below, but specifically let me know your thoughts on Sofia Falcone, formerly Falcone. But now Gigante, of course, in the comics, she was Sophia Falcone Gigante. That was her married name. And in this one, it is her mother's maiden name. They're doing little things like that to string us along and let us know that they pay attention to the comics, but they're going to do what they want to do. And they're doing it quite well, I think. But Sophia has been a standout in this series. Almost everybody across the board has been enamored with what Christine Miliati has brought to the character and the performance. She's great in this. Colin Farrell's phenomenal too. Everybody that shows up brings their A-game in this series. That's one thing that I love about it is nobody is phoning it in. They're all in here. And her character is getting more and more evil. My mother was Isabella Gigante. And just when you think she can't get any more evil or nobody can top her evilness, Penguin comes up and burns some people alive. So this is a show about Batman villains and that is what we're getting. And I love it. But now a rumor is coming out that from My Time to Shine, Hello, who is, you know, hit or miss, a lot of hit and miss on the leaks, on the spoilers, but so you got to take it all with a grain of salt, but has been correct from time to time. So, and this is something I want to talk about and I want this to kind of be true, but My Time to Shine, Hello is saying that Sophia Falcone will not only be in the Batman 2, but have a significant role in that movie now the batman 2 of course i was finished writing a month ago in september i think it was batman day or the day before batman day matt reeves said i'm done the script the script is in the script is good we are all good to go which is very exciting nobody knows what's in it we know that colin farrell kind of some reports are saying that he's read it some reports are saying that he hasn't but you have he has an idea of where the penguin lies and that especially at the end of the series but i'm sure he knows what his role will or will not be in the Batman 2. But that, so that leaves Sophia Falcone. Now, most people are guessing that her character is going to pff, die, right? Give off on this series. That's where my head's been at since day one. Like, she can't survive the show because we know that the Batman 2 is coming up and she's not going to be a part of the Batman 2 because she's not in the Batman 1. And how do you just introduce a character who is brought into a TV show if you don't want fans to be confused? That might have been confusing enough. Bro, what are you talking about, man? But maybe you don't actually have to because you've already introduced the Joker to us in the first movie without explaining who the Joker is or getting to the Joker. Now, we all know who the Joker is. So a little easier for us to go along with that, I suppose, because it's such a well-known villain. We already know, and he's already established in our minds. But Sophia could be the exact same way. Hear me out on this one. What if the idea for the Penguin isn't that she's going to get killed at the end? The only thing worse than death to Sophia Falcone is returning to Ark and being put back in there. So what if this season of The Penguin ends with Sophia getting put back in Arkham, being placed back in Arkham, and we see the repeat of everything that she went through in the first place. So now we have Sophia in Arkham, but where does this lead the movie, and where does this lead Batman, and where does this lead where we're going? Well, we know that the first Batman was based on the Long Halloween, and this series, the Penguin series, is Long Halloween, Dark Victory. We know all this. I have a theory and a video coming out soon that I think the Penguin 2 is going to be heavily influenced by No Man's Land. I think I don't even think that's a theory anymore. I think they flat out have been telling us this whole time. Well, I don't know exactly how it's going to play out or if it will play out, one aspect I do love about Sophia entering into the Batman 2, becoming an antagonist or just a character within the Batman 2, is her potential dynamic with Catwoman. We know that they both share a bond now with Carmine Falcone, Selena Kyle, and Sophia Falcone Gigante. We know that that's going to be that. There could be some angst there with whether or not it's because Selena Kyle's angry that Sophia gassed the entire Falcone family, or maybe just the way that they felt about Carmine individually, but they're going to come to a head. And we know within the comics that somewhat based on throughout the Long Halloween and Dark Victory that they have a dynamic already playing out already in there, already established within those comics. Now, I don't know exactly how much of the comics will play out, but the idea that Sophia could confront Selena Kyle and refer to her as a traitor to possibly the family or possibly even to her mother because of the affair that was had or some other reason could play out within the movie at some point. And we could see an ending to her arc like we do within those comics. But that all aside... As of today, my father's legacy 
is dead. What if Sophia takes the place of Calendar Man within the Batman 2? What if she plays the role of Calendar Man if in the prison cells and Batman has to visit Sophia? If you're a new audience member, you don't have to know who Sophia was. You just have to know that she is a former criminal and she is in there and Batman knows that she has information. So Batman can go to her for information. And she has information on the Penguin. She has information on whoever her psychiatrist Julian Rush is. But maybe she has some kind of ties to, to Hush, to Thomas Elliot. Maybe there's something more in there. And Batman uses Sophia for this information. So she could be back in Arkham. And Batman could be using her for information in the Batman 2 as they do Calendar Man. We know that they've been making changes like this the whole time, right? They've made little adjustments here and there where they see fit, where they have characters in place. So Sophia Falcone could be one and the only explanation you need if you haven't seen the penguin show is that hey carmine's daughter is in arkham because she's a psycho that all being said i have a lot of i have very little faith in this rumor that she will appear in the batman too it just seems like this is the type of thing where you know the excitement is around Sophia right now. The excitement is around Christine Milioti's performance of Sophia, and you want to see that more. And you can't blame anybody. It's, very, it's a very, very exciting prospect, but I just don't see it playing out that way. I don't see her. I still don't really see her surviving the series. She might get placed in Arkham, but I do think she's going to meet her demise at the end of it. I think bad things are going to happen, and she won't be able to stop it. And and her her storyline is going to end with this series. But that brings us to another point. At New York City Comic Con, Screen Rant had the chance to talk to showrunner Lauren LaFranc, and she said the following. Gotham is ripe to tell so many stories. The comics have shown that through decades and decades. I love this version of Gotham 2. I love all the characters that we've gotten to explore in this world. I think there's always room for more of that if the story can be even better. Absolutely. Keyword, story has to be absolutely better. I don't know how you get much better than this. I'm sure you can. It's not perfect, but I'm sure you can do better. The question is, can they do better? With the world they have, can they do better? And what would a season two of Penguin be? We obviously don't know where the Penguin ends up, first of all, in this series, or in the Batman 2. I don't, not many people know where he's going to end up in the Batman 2 at all. So that begs a big question, right? Do you, and if you come back with another season, do you call it the Penguin? I don't know about that. I would love it. Penguin's my favorite villain, so I'm okay. Give me more Penguin. But we know that there was the Arkham Asylum series that, that uh, went the way of the Dodo in the summer. We know about that. And they used some concept in this show. And they're going to save it for other shows down the line. I think that the Magpie stuff, especially the, the the Sophia Falcone Magpie stuff in episode four. And that was probably some stuff that they had ideas for. That might even be what sparked the Arkham show, but I think that kind of came from there. So we're going to see a lot more of that. What could season two be? I think we'll see more of that. If Sophia does end up in Arkham at the end of this, you got a lot more of that. You can start to incorporate the Arkham show within that storyline within season two of The Penguin. And now you can have Sophia have her storyline here and Oz Cobb have his storyline on the other side and they can run parallel with each other as they always do. And we can see what's going on and maybe it's about her breakout from Arkham. Don't be silly, I'm your friend! And maybe Batman 3, she's on the run. She's out of there. She's going. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Would you want a season two of The Penguin? I'm not sure. Look, as much as I want to see the show go on forever and ever, I'm not sure I need a season two or even want a season two because if it's not as good and if it starts to lack and starts to decrease the value of the first season and of the show itself, what's the point? Like, what's, like I end on a high sometimes is a good thing, but tell me more stories. Tell me more stories in this Gotham. I want to see more stories for sure. But if the Penguin doesn't make sense to do that with, then do it with somebody else, and we'll watch that one. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Is Sophia, don't say Falcone Gigante, going to be in the Batman 2? And are you up for a second season of The Penguin? Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Give us a like and a subscribe. But until next time, maybe the master of your own universe.